Here on the OCU Athletics Update, we're talking to Delaware Resource Group Superstar Athlete of the Week, Sarah Rick, senior midfielder from Keller, Texas, who leads the Stars in goals this season. And Sarah, you're part of a team that's won the conference championship for the first time since 2013. How exciting is that for your team? It's amazing. I mean, it's always been a goal of mine to win a conference, and I know it has for the team as well. And we accomplished it this year, my senior year of all years, and so we're very excited, and I'm excited to see how we do in the tournament as well. The team has also been ranked in the top 25 for the first time since 2015. What ingredients have kind of propelled this team this year? We're pretty solid around all parts of the team and I think the team dynamic and our chemistry really motivates us to do well during games and it moves us forward as a team. We have a very solid defense and we have very solid midfield and offense and attack and just all sides of the field. We all know how to do our job and we all want to do it well for each other. So I think that really propels us into doing well in games and winning games. 10 shutouts on the year for your defense. What, what's gone right on defense this year? Just the drive of our defense is incredible. They're always very focused and they're very ready to go when they play. And I'm very proud of how each one of them have performed. And our goalkeeper, Kirsten, has been um, national NAIA goalkeeper um, twice this season. And just their determination and their drive to succeed and do well for our team has been phenomenal this year and it really motivates the rest of the team to do well because with our defense doing well of course the offense wants to do well and it all just goes together into a great team chemistry. For you personally what have been some of your highlights from this year? Winning conference for sure <laughs> that's the biggest one so far and honestly there ha it's hard to name an exact moment of the season that's really stood out because so many moments have stood out for me this season. Every single game we've played, we played with determination and drive and we've just been successful this year and it's great to see that happen, especially for it being my senior year. But yeah, the one that has to stand out compared to all the other moments is definitely winning conference because I've never had a moment like that before and it's great that I get to do it with this group of girls. What's been your role on this team? My role this year has been different this year than I'd say it was last year. This year, I'm playing a forward position, but I also move back into the midfield when needed. And I very much have to find the outlet pass and different passes to develop our offense, to get a good attack and to get a goal. And it's been very interesting for me mentally adapting to that and doing my role to the best of my ability for my team. And then I also believe my role this year, being a senior, I've been really trying to have the team keep a good attitude and en encourage the team to the best of my ability so that we stay strong mentally even when times get tough. And I hope I've done that well, but that's what my goal was at the beginning of the season was to provide that type of mentality for the team. And so I've really been trying to keep that role throughout the season. You've got a twin sister who's also a conference champion, yeah. the Southland Conference. Uh, how do you keep up with her, with her team and how excited are you for her winning the conference championship as well? I'm extremely excited for her. Unfortunately, I don't get to go to a lot of games because of our season as well, but I live stream pretty much all of her games. This is actually the second conference championship that she's won. She won one as well her sophomore year, so now it's kind of nice that I have won as well. <laughs> but she actually just um, won Defender of the Year in her conference, and she leads her conference in assists, and I'm just beyond proud of her. She's such an amazing player and she has a work ethic unlike anybody else that I know and that's always motivated me being her sister. It's like if she works hard, I have to work just as hard to prove myself and that's helped me so much in my soccer career as well and I couldn't ask for anything better from her. What brought you to OCU? Originally it was be actually because I was doing theater and soccer and so um, I was gonna do both of those here, but then it turned out um, 
I ended up just sticking with soccer and I'm no longer a theater student, but now I'm an education major and I love my major here. I love the school here and the soccer program and I think it was really meant to be and I can't wait to like teach kids in the future and to coach soccer in the future and I think everything ended up how it's supposed to and it's going the right way. All right, that's Delaware Resource Group Superstar Athlete of the Week, Sarah Ricks. You can follow the stars on OCUsports.com. from golf is um, to be to have integrity in everything you say and do. One of the biggest lessons of that sports impacts my daily life is uh, discipline. To be a champion of character it just means to realize first that you're a part of something that's bigger than yourself. Being a part of NAIA is something that I'm going to keep with me forever because it's not only made me a better athlete but it's made me a better person. The NAIA really just cares about their student athletes and um, just the experience in general at the school and I think that that's really important. The NAIA stands for, um, has great core values. Um, one that's most important to me is servant leadership, being able to serve your community um, is a huge reason why I chose the NAIA. I am a champion of character. 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 Here on the OCU Athletics Update, we've got men's wrestling coach Sam Hayeswinkle. The Stars got off to a great start to the season, a 44-3 win over Oklahoma Wesleyan. And Coach, what stood out? What were some of the high points in that win? Wow, man, there's so so many great things happened last night. Uh, the first one that really stands out the biggest was the uh, the crowd. You know, we wanted to get 500 people, and I've heard everything from 500 to 800. We're trying to get an exact count, and it's, it's hard because we're – it was just so many and you know there's kids running around all over and we had a bunch of high schools bring their wrestling teams and kids clubs and fans and alumni and it it was awesome it was it I, I use that word a lot but I mean it it was awesome it was a lot of fun uh, the other part is uh, the guys really they stepped up they came together you know I've been gone the last couple weeks so a shout out to uh, our assistant coach Josh Powell he did a great job getting the guys ready and, and they didn't use it as an excuse, you know, to, to slough off and not work hard. They used it as a, a chance to show coach what they're made of and, and work hard, and I, I appreciate that. So those are the two things, at least to me, that really stood out. So with that big crowd on hand, how does that help your team uh, succeed on the mat? Oh, uh, it's uh, incredible. You can't explain the kind of energy that comes. Uh, you know, everybody knows about, like, momentum shifts and home court advantage, and, and it, those are real things. You know, and, and when you have a duel with 50 people there and you have a duel with 500 people there, it's a big difference. It, you gain energy from that. Uh, you get calls. You, just a lot of things can start rolling your way, and it's easy to get that momentum going, and, and guys, get, you know, it gets electric and you get going. And so thank you. It was wonderful. We loved having them. Six ranked individuals on your yeah. team at the moment, three All-American and heavyweights. Uh, who are some of the key individuals on your team right now? Uh, man, there's so many of them, and, and three heavyweights is just incredible. You know, the, the big guys have a lot of sports they can choose. They, they can go to football, they can go to baseball, they can go to wrestling, just about any sport. Uh, maybe not jockey. Us little guys <laughs> got that one down. But, uh, you know, so it's rare to have an All-American heavyweight. It's really rare to have three heavyweights on your team. It's, I've never heard of three All-Americans on a team. Uh, it, it, I love it. It's a great problem to have. Uh, so that's a, a just fun, fun little fact. But I'll talk about the two seniors that really stood out. Uh, is uh, Bryson McGowan, one of our heavyweights. He's really stepped up for the team. Uh, really intellectual kid. He helps get the guys focused. He's he's like my right hand man. He takes care of the little things for me all the time. Uh, and that's just what I know about. I don't know how many he does that I don't know about. And he's really a leader on the team for just like let's let's do what's right. And you know when you're doing doing right, good things happen. And he he wrestles good because he does things right. You know. And then you have uh, Matt Langreff, who's kind of on the other side of that. He's your typical 
wrestler. He's going to run through a wall. Yes, sir, coach. You want me to hit the wall as hard as I can? I'll do it. I'll go ahead first. I'll do it. And so he leads the team in that way. Like, no one's going to outwork me. And when he gets out on the mat, it shows. You know, he, he went out there against a, a pretty good kid and pinned him, uh, I don't know, maybe halfway through the first period and just horsepower, just found a way to make it happen. And so those guys are both leading and, and two totally different styles of leading. And it's good because you have everywhere in that spectrum on the team. You're also leaning on some highly touted freshmen this yes. year. Uh, tell us about that group and who stands out from that group. Man, they're, they're all, I, I think four of the six are in the starting lineup right now. And the other two uh, very well could be in the starting lineup uh, this weekend against Washita. They're, they're right there in a battle with uh, other guys on the team. And all of them are, man, it's hard to, hard to pick any. Last night, Connor Holman really stood out. He just went after it. Uh, absolutely just dominated in his performance and pushed the pace the whole time. He's a real exciting kind of guy to watch, the, his style. Jackson Holman, uh, or Jackson Holman, Jackson Gilmore stood out. He uh, probably had the most exciting match of the night, just a, a barn burner. I think it was 6-6 six, six going into the third period. Both guys were exhausted, and he put the guy on his back and got the win for us. And it was really, the, the crowd was into that one, you know, and, and he got us back on track. It was, it was a really good match. Uh, those are the two that really stood out to me last night, but, but all the freshmen are, they're, they're trying to be the leaders on the team, which I love, you know, they're, they're making the seniors work to be the leaders. And when you have that happening, uh, you have a good team, you get good things happening. What style of wrestling are you implementing with this team? Yeah, I'm very much, uh, let the guys do their style. You know, there's, there's no, that's what's great about wrestling. You have tall guys, you have short guys, you have lanky guys, you got muscle guys, you get, you got everything in between. And, and so it's hard to get everybody on one style. Uh, so I'm a lot more open than I think a, a lot of coaches are to just coaching individual styles. We have our overall things that we hit on and, and I would say their, their position I'm, I'm big on being in good position. I don't care what kind of moves you like, just be in good position. And then uh, uh, controlling. And by controlling, I mean we're moving forward, we're not moving backwards. We're staying in our kind of ties, uh, not their ties. And we don't preach a certain tie. I don't want everybody doing underhooks. You know, I don't care their tie, just get to your tie. You, you get to it, you control it. If we're controlling the matches and controlling the tempo, good things are going to happen. You represented the U.S. in the World Championships yeah. in Hungary recently. What was that experience like? I'm, I'm half asleep right now. I'm still <laughs> trying to get, get adjusted back, and this week's just a crazy week. But it was a blast. You know, anytime you can serve your country and go overseas and compete with the best guys in the world, is, it's a dream come true. You know, it was, on, it was on one of the things on my bucket list. Uh, my dad made a couple Greco-Roman world teams, and uh, I had made a freestyle team, but I hadn't made a Greco yet, so that was, a, that was on, checked off the bucket list. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't wrestle the best. I, I, I would have liked to lot, wrestle a lot better, but I'm top 20 in the world, so that's a positive. Got that going for me. How rare is it for you to be an active wrestler and a collegiate head coach? Oh, I don't think it's, it happens a whole lot. It, I know that coaches have wrestled, and they're, they're usually assistants, and I kind of looked at them and was like, yeah, it can be done, and man, either they're a lot better at me or it's the fact that they had a bunch of coaches. You know, I came in, I was the only coach. Uh, Josh Powell, who I mentioned earlier, just came on uh, full time the, I think the day after I left, which was huge that he come in and help out, because uh, otherwise I got nobody to coach the team. You know, they have to run practices themselves. Or Matt Stevens, the women's coach, would have came over and helped. But so it was huge having him come on. Uh, it's not something I would look forward to doing again. I, I, it would be very difficult because uh, it was difficult. And it was I was busy enough that I didn't realize the stress until really when I went out to Budapest, uh, Hungary. Went out about 10 days early just so I had time to acclimate and get ready. And when I finally got there and I didn't have to have 8,000 things on my plate, like I realized like, oh man, I'm, it's been stressful. Like I, I'm, I can get some sleep and, you know, is so I'm not complaining. Uh, I just, I probably wouldn't do it again. Wouldn't, wouldn't choose to do it again. <laughs> All right, that's men's wrestling coach, Sam Hayes Winkle. You can follow the stars on OCUsports.com.